Carter and Boynton. Gotta check those guys out. They got the list, the winners. Thank you very much for this, by the way. This is greatly appreciated. Binder Stash, myself, greatly appreciate you. Hey, Ruth, got my fancy pants on. Whatever, I'm walking. Gotta get the epic shot, right? Let's go get the epic shot. Behind us to go through, so then we can start this soiree. Before it starts pouring, look, look at it. Look at it over there. It's ridiculous. We're right in the middle. We're at it again. Bill Binder, Binder Stash on the Palm Beach Par 3. We're gonna get pounded with rain, so we're gonna make this quick. Michter's 10 year bourbon. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see from time to time, mostly more than, than often, I'll, uh, I'll post something Michter's because I love Michter's. It's one of my favorite whiskey companies, hands down. For the very first reviews that we did on another golf course, I was stressing the fact about age statements and how bourbon over 20 years old gets finicky and, and there are certain certain companies that do age statements very, very well. Now bourbon over 20 years, Oak Bomb, right? I'm not gonna name names, a little 23 year old something. Let's just leave it at that. But the one exception to that is the Michters. Now the Michters came out with the 25 year bourbon and it is fantastic. Their quality control is some of the best. Um, but we're not here to do Michters 25 because I'm not a baller, not yet anyway. Uh, that'll be down the road. We're gonna do Michter's 10 today. Now Michter's 10 is probably my all time top three favorite 10 year old bourbons on the market that you can get. Now, 70 bucks, I'll take it. You know why? Because they make it in limited qualities. And that's okay, you know? That means your quality controls, their variance is like right there. It's good stuff. Now, bore you with the history, as I always say, you know, Michter started out in Pennsylvania. Michter went bankrupt. They reinvented themselves in Kentucky, in Louisville. I'm not gonna bore you with the color. I'm gonna take a swig. I gotta hit this chip shot. And then we'll make this short and sweet, okay? I got the fancy bourbon out. I gotta bring my fancy pants out. JL for life, what? Who cares, it's part three. I got two clubs with me. We walked out here. It's about to pour. I'm gonna hit this chip, and we're gonna talk about the whiskey real quick, okay? All right. Ah! Now, Michter's. Michter's has a history of everything. I'm not gonna go into it. I just went into it. Um, Bomberger, Shanks, uh, the original distillery. Um, I can tell you that Bomberger's, the first release they came out with maybe two years ago, uh, is a little bit better than the second release, but that's neither here nor there. It's the Michter's 10 year. It comes in at 47.2% uh, alcohol. Is that fucking, I don't even know. 94.4 proof. I'd like to see this honestly with a little bit more kick to it, maybe 115, maybe a barrel strength. Hint, hint, just saying, Pam. But again, now the nose on it, it's nothing but toffee, uh, caramel, butterscotch. I don't know butterscotch, butterscotch is great. What's the most butterscotch bourbon out there? Me personally, I'm gonna say Weller Antique 107. By far, pound for pound, that's the best $30 bottle of bourbon in the entire world. Um, now, back to the Michters. It only being 94.4 proof, it's very, very smooth. Um, it's very, very sweet on the front end, you know, the mid palate, you know, you're, you're, you're picking the sweet up, you're picking, picking that vanilla, the, the toffee, the, the caramel. Um, it's not a lingerer, it doesn't hang around that long, that's just because the proof is down. But, all in all, it's amazing. It's a sick bottle, great packaging. It's good whiskey, it's, it's good bourbon. Now if you can get your hands on it, which, you know, as we all know, 
it's harder and harder these days to get some bourbon, some good bourbon, because everybody's just hoarding it, or they're buying mass quantities of it, or there's a limited, limited release, whatever you say. Um, all in all, it's a great whiskey. Uh, hats off to the Michter's company for putting this out. Um, it's one of my personal favorites. I'm obsessed with Michter's. Every single skew that they have, from the toasted barrel limited release to the barrel strength toasted barrel rye to the 25 year old bourbon. I mean, it's all solid. You can't go wrong with anything from this company. Now, if there's a 25 year old rye out there, I have never seen it. I'd like to see it, but who knows? So, I'm gonna take another swig of this. Uh, so good. It's just perfect. It's an easy drinker. It's an everyday bourbon. I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna put a little smoke. Fuente, Fuente. Open sack, baby. The light. I'm gonna put that down. I'm gonna drop this ball. No idea how far this is, nor do I care. I'm gonna hit it and find it. Bill Bender, Bender Stash, remember always enjoy what you drink. Ow.